The Rocket Medical PSU is a portable suction solution that provides patients requiring post-intervention drainage from the pleural and mediastinal cavity with the freedom to be mobile as soon as they are ready. The system is built around the concept of delivering reliable performance, ease of use, and enhanced quality of care. The PSU offers advanced features, including digitally controlled, uninterrupted portable suction, real-time air leak monitoring to two decimal points, unique absence of air leak indicator, PSU gravity drainage option, and a range of safety alerts. This animation will demonstrate how to operate the PSU. Prime and set up the chest drain bottle as normal. Then remove the handle, hook and green dust cap. Place the R54571 PSU filter over the exhaust port and place the location peg into the correct aperture. Place the PSU over the filter so that the filter fits into the filter recess under the PSU. With slight forward pressure, rotate the locking ring anti-clockwise until it locks into position. The PSU has a rechargeable battery to enable patient mobility. If the PSU requires charging, connect the power supply cable to the port on the rear of the device. The battery takes at least two hours to charge and will last for a minimum of four hours. To set up the PSU for a new patient, perform the following steps. Turn on the PSU by pressing and holding the on button for more than two seconds. The PSU will begin a self-test. Confirm that the PSU is connected to a new patient. Confirm that the PSU filter has been replaced. Select your chosen unit of measurement. The PSU can measure negative pressure in kilopascals, centimeters of water, or millimeters of mercury. Set the amount of suction required. Press the increase or decrease buttons until you are at the level you require. The level of suction applied increases in minus 0.5 kilopascals, minus 5 centimeters of water, or 3.75 millimeters of mercury increments. Alternatively, you may select the gravity drainage option. Confirm your decision by pressing and holding the highlighted button for more than two seconds. The PSU will then apply suction to the chest drain unit and the patient. When the PSU is running, the screen displays the suction level and flow rate. The flow rate is the volume of air being removed by the pump in litres per minute. This is measured to two decimal places. There are four different information screens available to monitor your patient's air leak. This data is provided in real time. All patient data is recorded and stored for download if required. You can scroll through the screens by pressing button number 1. Screen 2 shows the suction level and duration of suction applied. Screen 3 shows a flow versus time graph. Press button 3 to rotate through three different display options. These will show 30 minute high flow, where flow is measured up to 10 litres per minute. 30 minute flow, where flow is measured from 0.5 litres per minute. The previous minute's flow, where flow is measured from 0.18 litres per minute. Screen 4 shows the PSU's unique absence of air leak indicator. This indicator is designed to enhance confidence in clinical decision making by displaying the status of a patient's air leak over time. The indicator is divided into six four hour columns, providing a 24 hour view. Columns fill up from left to right, with each column providing a visual representation of the patient's air leak status over a four hour period. As time passes, the columns will fill red and or green to indicate the presence or absence of an air leak. If red is shown, this indicates an air leak. If green is shown, this indicates no air leak. If an air leak is intermittent, columns may be filled with a combination of red and green. When the patient's air leak is completely resolved, any subsequent column or columns will be completely green. If the PSU and chest drain unit tips or falls over, an audible alarm will sound and the tilt or fall screen will be displayed. If the tilt screen is displayed, the screen and alarm will switch off automatically when the device is returned to an upright position. 
the PSU will continue at the programmed suction level. If the full screen is shown, check and if necessary, replace the filter and then switch off the alarm and screen manually. The PSU will continue at the programmed suction level. To change the suction level, press buttons 2 and 3 together for longer than 2 seconds. This will return you to the suction level setting screen. The PSU gravity drainage option allows for measurement of the size of the air leak with very minimal suction being applied. Set your prescribed level of suction and confirm this by pressing and holding the button for more than 2 seconds. The PSU will start to apply suction to the chest drain unit and the patient. When the air leak has resolved and the PSU is no longer required, turn off the device by pressing and holding the on-off button for longer than 2 seconds. Confirm that you wish to shut down the device. Press button 2 to shut down the PSU. To remove the PSU from the chest drain bottle, apply a slight downward pressure, rotating the locking ring clockwise until the PSU is unlocked. Lift the PSU away. Remove the filter and dispose of according to local guidelines. Clean the PSU following local guidelines. The device is now ready for the next patient. The Rocket Medical PSU, delivering portable suction to enhance patient care.